Hi, this is Dr. Bruce Sturman with Ask an Expert, answering your love and relationship questions. Today's question, my husband came home today and told me that he loves me, but he no longer wants to be married to me. I'm crushed. Why is he doing this to us? I can certainly appreciate the difficulty of this situation, but I'm sorry to say it is not uncommon. In fact, recently a client told me that her husband sent her an email, not even in person, telling her after a 12-year marriage he no longer wanted to go on. This is very difficult to hear. But one thing you have to take into mind is that this didn't happen yesterday. He'd been thinking about this for a while. And he just decided now to inform you about it and tell you about it. It's important, though, for you to realize that he's not doing this to hurt you. That's not going to serve you. You need to see it as his own decision. But regardless of that, it is crushing. It's very difficult when someone in your life makes a major decision about your life where you've got to play catch up and react to. That's a very difficult position. So I want to help you in providing you certain steps that you can take that may help you get through this very difficult situation. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to write him a personal letter. Don't worry about what you're going to be saying because you're not going to be sending it to him. This letter is for you to help you with you expressing you and getting all this negativity out of you. So I want you to write him a letter in the first person I am furious, letting him know all of your frustration, all of your anger, all of your rage even, and don't worry about it being presentable. Remember, this is just for you. The second thing I want you to do is to write another letter, this time from your sadness. You've gone through a tremendous loss, and that needs to be expressed. And you need to give yourself the freedom in the letter to say to him, I'm experiencing a tremendous loss. I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with you, and now I'm just left with a big hole. The third thing I want you to do is and to take your time, because you probably won't be ready for this initially, but when you're ready, to look over your relationship and look for all the signs that were there things that you thought of saying but you hesitated, you wanted to bring up but didn't, or just excused, and write all these down. And this will help you to no longer be in a relationship where you end up being surprised. Because when you're surprised, that feeds your emotionality. So if you have all this information, you can really help to take care of yourself in the future so that you don't get into this kind of situation because you'll be prepared. You can contact me at yourtango.com slash experts slash the relationship doctor.